everyone, it's Janae Way, and today I'm coming at you with a new YouTube video and we're talking about what you need to do if you want to start pole dancing. So if you want to know all of my tips on what you need to do to prepare for your first pole dancing class, then keep on watching. But before we even get into this video, make sure you're subscribed, sis, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae Way so we can always stay connected. Now let's go ahead and get into this video. All right, so the first thing you need to do before you even start pole dancing is nothing. Seriously, guys, I get this all the time. People always reach out to me saying, oh my God, I want to start pole dancing or I want to take a class, but I need upper body strength first or I need flexibility. And no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't need upper body strength. You don't need flexibility. All you need to do is just go to a class. The purpose of taking these pole classes is to help you gain that upper body strength, is to help you gain that flexibility. You do not need to have any of that prior to taking a class. Think about it like a gym. It's not just people who are athletic and in shape who go to gyms. It's anybody. It's people who have fitness goals, who have health goals. If the goal is to gain more muscle, if the goal is to lose weight, if the goal is to just tone up, whatever that goal is, all kinds of people go to the gym. The same applies to pole dancing. You don't need anything to start. You just need to go. My biggest thing, if I can do anything, send a message to anyone, please don't doubt yourself or feel like you can't do something because you're looking at what other people are doing. It makes you think you can't do it too. That is not true. Just go ahead and get those negative thoughts out of your head. All you need to do is just take that first step. If it's something you want to do, all you need to do is give it a try. So here's what you really need to do first if you're interested in taking a pole class or pole dancing. Google search, pole dance classes, insert your city. That's literally all you need to do to find a studio. Check out their website, see the kinds of classes they offer, see what beginner classes they have, even call the studio and talk to an instructor there just to see what they offer and what will work for you as a beginner. Once you find the studio and you go to your first class, what I want you to keep in mind as a beginner, as your first class, realize that you are not going to get everything on the first try and that is absolutely 100% okay. We all had to start as a beginner and that's the point. I mean, it's a journey. You're working your way up to the next level. Nobody comes into pole dancing and just gets everything right on the first try. There is a lot of training involved. There's a lot of technique that you need to learn and there's so much to learn that you just can't do it all at once. So just enjoy the journey, enjoy learning and don't be hard on yourself if you don't get everything the first time. It all comes as long as you're consistent. Ultimately, if there's any piece of advice that I think is super important for you guys to take away from this video, go into pole dancing just having fun. Don't put pressure on yourself to get it perfectly. Don't put pressure on yourself if you feel like you look awkward, anything like that. The studio is a judgment-free zone. We all have to start somewhere, and that's why you have an instructor. That's why you have someone like me to sit here and help you and to hype you up like, yes, sis, you got it. Don't even worry about it. We're going to work on it. That was perfect. That's what it's all about. It's about the journey. It's about progressing. And it's ultimately about having fun. So please do not put any pressure on yourself. Don't doubt yourself. Okay, let's get, a, let's get rid of self-doubt in 2020. Please do not doubt yourself. People tell me all the time, I can't do this. I want to do it so bad, but I can't. Yes, you can. Just give it a try if it's something you really want to do because you just might surprise yourself. All right, you guys, that's going to wrap it up for this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And comment down below if you have any other questions on tips that you might need as a new pole dancer. If there's any information I can give you, I'm more than happy to do that. So definitely leave me a question or comment down below. Also, make sure you're subscribed, sis, because I don't want you to miss a thing. And make sure you're following me on Instagram at Janae Way so we can always stay connected. And until next time, I'll see you. Bye.